Hey y'all, welcome back to Geek Gals. I am Chin Lin, the editor and founder, and today's video, I am going to create Dorian's Grey Room from Chilly Adventures of Sabrina. As you can see, I have cosplayed as Dorian Grey from the show. Um, well, I've worn the closest thing to his wardrobe, that is. <laughs> um, so, I am making a second Chilling Adventures of Sabrina related video because I really enjoyed uh, doing the Spellman Mortuary and I decided, you know what, I don't know if I want to make my whole house into the Spellman house, but I am totally down for making Dorian's Grey Room. So here we are today. So follow me. Let's go to our basement. All right, we're gonna start off from scratch. So you can do this in your basement or your attic. I'm just choosing my basement wherever, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you don't really wanna do this in your other rooms in the house because your other rooms are gonna be smaller. So you want something bigger. For the flooring, I have chosen the gold iron parquet flooring. And then for the wallpaper, I chose the brown crown wall. So I'm gonna put that in my storage real quick to bring, give up, give some space in my pockets. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Dorian's gray room is very sophisticated. It's got some antique-ish looking furniture. If I knew more about interior design, I would be saying the proper words. So I apologize. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm gonna do my best here. Let's start with the bar because everyone knows that if you wanna have a good time in Dorian's gray room, you're gonna be drinking something that Dorian creates. Or should I say concocts? Is that the proper term for bartenders? Bartenders concoct drinks, right? Um, because Animal Crossing is a family-friendly game, rated G, of course, I don't have any, like, custom designs on simple panels for, like, the background of the bar. Instead, I have chosen to create three trophy cases. And they will fit perfectly on either end of your attic or basement. So this is gonna give the feel of having cases of vodka and wine and whatnot. Um, obviously they're trophies, but you know, use your imaginations, guys. <laughs> and in front of the cases, you're going to have three den desks. The den desks are really nice because they're so, they're so flexible. You can use them for lots of different kinds of rooms. I'm going to put down two to start off because if I put down a third, I'm blocking myself off. So let's put down two so far and I'm going to go into my storage and actually grab some mimosas. Gonna grab three mimosas, and you're gonna put down those three mimosas on the den desk. One, two, three. Damn it! Did not mean to do that. Uh, sometimes your fingers move too fast when you're trying to talk something out, place the item. So you've got three sparkling ciders. Um, Dorian is not really the sparkling cider kind of guy, but you know, roll with it. Roll with what you got in the game is how I like to think of it. So we're going to, we're not quite done with this side. We're gonna um, pause right here and move on to the other side because um, you're going to end up putting some stuff on the walls and I'm going to do that uh, towards, I'll do that later in the video. 
So let's move over to the other side where you kind of have a fireplace type situation. It looks like a Dorian's gray room is when we're first introduced to it, it's kind of the place where um, Father Blackwood would take his um, misogynist group of guys called the, uh, the Judas Society. Yeah, they would come here to Dorian's gray room and just kind of hang on, hang in the, oh, there's my fireplace. Hang in the main area and just drink and think of ways to make Sabrina's life miserable, sort of. <laughs> so you're basically making the gathering area. I've put down the fireplace um, to decorate the mantle. I've chosen an hourglass and I chose the dark brown or blackish color for the hourglass. And next to it, I'm gonna put down, where is it? Not that. Golden candlestick. I have created three golden candlesticks and this is one place where I'm gonna put down a candlestick. Next to the fireplace, you want to put down a robust statue. Now, statues are hard to come by. Excuse me. They're, statues are hard to come by. If you have two robust statues, you want one on each side uh, to kind of emulate the statues that are already in Dorian's gray room. Oh, hey, there's a clock. I forgot I had a clock up there. Um, yeah, there's an antique clock to kind of round out that antique e -ness look. I'm trying not to butcher this, guys. Really trying. <laughs> Put down your red Persian rug. Off to one side of the rug. You're gonna put down a sofa. On the other side, another sofa. You should have three sofas total. Oops, need to even that out a little bit. There we go. And then in front of the sofas, you wanna put down the wooden low table. Actually, this bothers me, the spacing is a little off. You want to line up the sofas with the edge of the couch. Actually, you know what? I will fix that in a little bit. Let me finish the wooden low table. You want to put down a chocolate heart. It kind of represents Sabrina and Nick's uh, blossoming love in the first two seasons. And next to that, you have another pair of golden candlesticks. And then sort of in between the gathering area and the bar, you're gonna put down an antique console table. If I can, f oh, there we go. And on it, you will put down a phonograph and fragrance sticks because Dorian Gray wants his place to smell nice, right? Kind of musky. I can, I can picture him putting down some sort of manly fragrance and whatnot. <laughs> and then behind the phonograph and the fragrance sticks, you're gonna hang up the jolly painting if you have the jolly painting. Hang on wall. It's not aligned, but we'll center that uh, in a little bit. So the jolly painting is supposed to represent Dorian Gray's portrait. If you are a very artistic person, alas, I am not, but if you're an artistic person and you enjoy making custom designs, I would, I would recommend uh, making Dorian's painting as a custom design. I just chose not to do that because I'm not the best at art. I will admit to that. So now we're going to go into builder mode. Is that what it's called? Builder mode? Not entirely sure. 
So we're going to click the plus button. We're going to fix this so the painting's adjusted. Maybe move it up a little bit. And now you want to shift mm -hmm. to the side and you're going to put down, or sorry, not put down. You're going to hang up six wall mounted candles. I'm going to put them up right here. Ideally, you want them all in the same color. Is that white? Oh. Now I need to make sure they're all the same color. That's silver, right? No, now that's white. Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so I did have the right one. That is my bad. Silver. Silver. And then that went into my storage. There we go. Silver. So on this side, I have six silver wall mounted candles. I'm going to mm -hmm. turn again so that you have another pair of six, another set of six wall mounted candles. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want them in the same color, but um, I think I had just enough of one color and I was ordering some and I forgot what color they were so I ordered the wrong color. You know, things like that happen. It's gonna be in my storage. There we go. All mounted candles. There you go. Now go back to the floor. Dorian is very concerned about his looks. Remember in season three when he got that pimple? <laughs> and he was complaining to Sabrina about the pimple? Oh, that, that was good. That was a good season. Okay. And then lastly, I had it, I had it. Bear with me guys, I had it. There was another candle, but it's just the handheld kind. There we go, the regular candle. Okay, now you're going to click finish. And turn off the lights. Voila! Welcome to Dorian's Grey Room. I hope you guys dig this, because I'm digging this so far. <laughs> May I offer you a drink? No. <laughs> Alright, well that is it for Dorian's Grey Room. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more Animal Crossing videos, please hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Thanks again, guys. Bye!